Well, hello everyone, welcome to the 31st IS tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll talk about broadcasting an event through the entire application. And it's uh, possible via NS Notification Center, and it has some useful method called Add Observer, Remove Observer, and so on. If you remember from tutorial number 15, we talked about Model View Controller and the communication between controller and view and controller and the model. In this tutorial, we will introduce a new methodology that model can communicate with the controller. This method is kind of like radio frequency. If we set a station in our model, as soon as it changed, it sends a broadcast and sends a frequency through the entire application. And if we tune ourselves in our controller, we can receive this signal. So that's how the concept works. The application that we are going to make is very simple. It just does one single thing that you already saw in previous tutorials, but this time we use NS notification system. So what it does is when you press the plus button, it adds a model view. And this part is important. When you press done button, it informs the main view that we have to dismiss the view. So this is the main part. One thing that I have to mention about NS notification system is you have to be careful not misuse it. Uh, there are many cases that you can use delegate method instead of notification system. You should um, evaluate the uh, different design and see which one works for you. For example, uh, for the simple thing that we have here, you should use delegate method. But uh, for other things like when you receive a call from the server and you want to um, make sure that different part of your application uh, get receive a notification and you want to do something with each part, you should use an S notification system. But for a simple thing like this uh, dismissing the view, you should use delegate method. The reason that I use an S notification system, ha uh, just want to show you how to use it. I couldn't make a very complicated application and show you the use case. Okay, let's create a new project. Single view and we call it broadcasting. And to save it. Okay, let's go to the storyboard and change the device size. It doesn't matter, but just for Okay, and we embed this inside of the navigator in order to have a back button. Let's add it here. Okay, now we'll add a UI bar button item here. We can change the style. We did all of this before. You should be familiar with this stuff. We add another view controller here. And we connect this button to this view. And we view it presented modally. We can select this option, present modally. So now, if I run the program and add this button, it should show a blank page. So let's run the program. Okay, we run the program, play, add the button, and it should show the blank page. So it works properly. Now we add another button here inside of our view, and we call it done. So now let's create some views and uh, specify view to each class, view controller I mean. And we create a new file and we call it add view controller. And next create. So then we go to the storyboard and associate this view that we just created to this view controller. So now we can get some action to this done button. Let's have a, okay, 
can remove all unnecessary code here and as you know we can just control drag this done button you can call it when we press this done button we want to dismiss the view so I call it dismiss view so and it's UI bar UI button and the sender and we are connected we had the same functionality when we wanted to create a contact list application but that time we used the delegate method for now we want to use broadcasting and notification center when we want to add another view uh, we add it modally and then when we want to dismiss it we broadcast we send broadcast through the entire application and say okay something should happen and appropriate function should be called when we press this button so first of all we have to define our broadcast inside of the view that we want to send broadcast so first we go to the view controller which is the class that is associated with this view controller we go there and we define our observer right after view did load and we define it like ns notification notification center default center and then we say add observer so we add observer it has uh, several arguments let's put it in each line and then explain what exactly are these observer so the first thing add observer we want add observer for self and the selector what we want to do when we receive a notification we want to call a method actually so what is that method name we call it mm, this miss add VC we want to dismiss this add VC um, view here so I call this method add dismiss and we want to name it what do we want to call this method and uh, I, I would call it call dismiss add VC and the object is nil here so the compiler complained about uh, this and what it is exactly it says that we don't have this dismiss add VC so let's create this it's void it's returning nothing the method name is dismiss add VC and what it does it just basically dismiss the view so we can say self dismiss view controller animated we can say yes we don't want to do anything after that so the completion is nil so this is how we define uh, observer and observer so and now we can go to the add VC and we send the broadcast um, and call this method call this method in this class so how do we call it we can say NS notification center default center and then post notification what is the notification name we can go back here and copy paste this name we should call this notification and the object is nil here again the last but not the least part for setting notification center is to remove the observer because right now it's still listening to the broadcast we have to remove it because it could cause the crash of the application and behaving odd so how do we remove it we say ns notification center default center this time remove observer and we use this remove observer name and we remove observer we add observer here to self so we remove it from self again what is the name of the broadcast 
and this is the name I just copy pasted and our object is nil so that's how we remove the observer